Welcome on back to Skippers, presented by Owners Box Fantasy Sports. Today's segment, waiver wire targets for week 11 in fantasy baseball. Avery, Jeremy, Drew, helping you navigate the wire. Before we get into it, thanks to our sponsors at Ace Hill. If you're in Ontario and you're drinking this weekend, make sure it's Ace Hill products. Jeremy, your opening notes. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, join the Discord, and smash the like button. <laughs> we talked about that. Liking the video is important because it does push our videos. And some comments, too. We yeah, love comment. when you guys comment. Ask questions in the comments. We'll, we'll answer the comments every we'll time. We'll answer every single one. All right, so we got two people each that are under 30% rostered. I hope you guys listened to the rules. Yes, we did, for All sure. Right. So, well, Jeremy hates listening to the rules. So, yeah. one of you guys get into your first waiver wire. Okay, so I'm going to go. I mentioned him on yesterday's episode of Must Add. He was the Discord pick of the day. Shout out to the Discord because they came up. I would have never known this guy. And that's Jackson Coar. We figured out how to say his name. We did. So we apologize for saying his name wrong last to his episode. Family, we apologize. We apologize. Um, but man, I'm looking into his minor league stats. I feel like no one is talking about this guy except for our Discord. Yeah. <laughs> 0.85 ERA right now. Florida Gators product. For some reason, Casey loves their Florida Gators. Yeah, they do. 41 I mean, strikeouts. Brady Singer. <laughs> yeah, Brady Singer, yeah. 41 strikeouts and 30 step, 31 innings pitch. I sort of worry about will they bring him up based off what happened with Daniel Lynch, but I do think that Jackson is ready to come up, and when he comes up, I think that he's, he's a great add, and he's set up to be successful in the MLB. Yeah, they're kind of struggling with Brady Singer right now, yeah. so... They're looking for another shot in the arm. They've been when they brought up Daniel Lynch, they were looking for that shot in the arm, and he wasn't it. But I think Jackson Cohor can do it, and he could be up within two weeks. Uh, we thought he was actually going to get the call this week. That would have been uh, awesome. They like moved a couple starts. It looked like he was going to get the call. They now think that he's going to get the call for next start or whatever in the rotation. Either way, just stash him, stash him. I have him stash in my deeper league. He's like one percent rostered, so he should be out there. Are we going to go your second guy now? Yeah, we'll go, go my second, second guy. guy. That's Alex Cobb of the Angels. This is an ugly pick, but his underlying stats look great. 13% rostered. He's had three back-to-back-to-back great starts. I think he was, Drew, you might know this, was it seven innings, no runs, with eight Ks his last yeah, start? Yeah, he was unreal. Unreal. Um, you look and you think a, a pitcher like him who's high strikeout, he's always been a high strikeout guy. He's barely getting hit. His barrel percentage against is 2.3 right now, which is top 4% in the MLB. That is great to see. Is it sustainable? Hell no. It's definitely <laughs> not sustainable because he's gotten up to 23, his barrel percentage against. <laughs> so uh, Alex Cobb, I think he's worth picking up. The high K, the high strikeouts is so valuable. Mm-hmm. He's letting one run in his last three starts. Alex Cobb is for sure a waiver wire ad here. So Another. the underlying thing I'll let you get into it is Max Stassi is finally back for the Angels, one of the best defensive catchers in baseball. Mm-hmm. Kurt Suzuki is one of the worst defensive catchers in baseball. He's only going to make that. Uh, I didn't even know that. He's going to make that pitching set better. Yes. I guarantee it. Yeah. They're going to perform better. Dylan Bundy, look out for him too. Max Dylan Stassi Bundy, yep, is going to make guy. them better. What Cobb, were you going to say, Drew? Another Orioles pitcher that found success somewhere else. Yep. yep. I Same mean, thing. Orioles pitchers just go to die. Yeah. So John Means, once he goes John to the Yankees, is going to be incredible. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> All right, Drew, your two guys. All right, so my first guy is Ahmed Rosario of the Cleveland baseball team. There. Um, 18% rostered. Uh, last two weeks, uh, seven runs, one home run, five RBI, three stolen bases, and batting 350. I mean, that'll play. Uh, stack ass profile. Lacks barrels, fourth percentile in the MLB, but batting uh, expected batting average is above average, and his 97th percentile sprint speed is great for getting stolen bases. Um, he's batting second in Cleveland's lineup consistently. Not an ideal spot, or an ideal spot, but not an ideal lineup. Probably one of the worst uh, hitting lineups in the league. But he's still in the second spot. You're going to get runs. Mm-hmm. You're going to get the average from him. You're going to get stolen bases. He's still batting in front of Jose Ramirez. Um, so this is someone I would pick up to if you need help with runs, average, or stolen bases. I'm um, sorry, really, really good month last month. Hit he over literally the is like um, he literally replaced Jimenez in that lineup. Yeah, yeah, like he is the guy that everyone thought Jimenez was going to be. Like, I'm um, sorry, has been really, really good. So like, I think it's it's a good pick. Yeah, He's still only 18 percent roster too. Like that's way yeah. too low. Yeah, he, he's going to have an everyday place in that lineup. So I saw him hitting like two the other day. I put him in the game. Every, the last two weeks he's been yeah. hitting two. That's, that's really good. Good pick up. Mm-hmm. Go pick him up. Your next guy. My other guy is JP Fire Eisen. Yeah. Uh, from a relief pitcher for the Tampa Bay Rays, 17% owned. 
Um, looks to be getting some of the saves. And we never know really who is going to be the closer in Tampa Bay with Cash as the manager. Uh, but three saves in the last two weeks, uh, whereas Diego Castillo has only picked up one save in the last two weeks. Uh, the ratios look good, too, with Friar Eisen, uh, low whip, mid three ERA. Um, looking at a stack cast profile, that's where it really gets nice. He's lighting it up with all red numbers. 92nd percentile expected batting average against, 85th percentile expected ERA, 98th percentile whiff percentage, and 96th percentile fastball spin. So he just has nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. And if they're smart, this is the guy that would probably have close the rest of the year. Um, he's just looked great when he does it, like striking out the side, everything like that. So I'd definitely go pick up Fry Rising if you need help with saves. This Maybe even K's from the from the relief pitching spots. This is so Tampa Bay Rays. They yeah. trade for a guy. They have no issues with Diego Castillo being their closer. They Until just, he went to the IL, and it was like, oh. And, and then they just trade for a guy, and they were like, okay, yeah, sure, you can get the saves now. Like, yeah. they don't care about us at all. No. You know? And Fairbanks, Not, like, Fairbanks was like, oh, yeah, you're going to you're gonna share with Castillo this year. That's yeah. pretty much what was happening before and, the year. Yeah, and then and just, Fairbanks just, just got thrown baseball. to the side. They don't care about us, and I hate it, right? I hate it. All right. My first guy, Logan Webb of the Giants, 21% rostered, finally back from his IL stint, and his roster percentage is about to skyrocket. 386 ERA so far this year, but 327 FIP on 54 strikeouts, 58% ground ball rate in 49 innings. His only really bad start was six earned runs against against the Rockies at Coors Field. Mm -hmm. So without that, he's a 297 ERA. Logan Webb's a really good pitcher. We saw him in spring training talk about that changeup, and he didn't really use it that much. He's back into it. Logan Webb's a very good pitcher. Pitcher like this needs to be picked up. This is very good for your starting pitcher. Help, and most people need pitching help. So Logan Webb is a very good guy to go pick up. Great target. He'll be 50% roster by the end of next week if he has a good start, I bet. Yeah, I need I need to see some consistency on him. I mean, he's been really good. Yeah, but there's a reason why he's 29% rostered. He's, he's been pretty rostered. good, but that ERA isn't very good. It's not great. Yeah, but I'm telling you, if you take that ER, if you take the one bad start at Coors Field, like if non-hitter friendly parks, he's 298 ERA. Yeah, really good. So Logan Webb, let's look at him this next week, see what he does. I think he'll do great. Next, this is an ugly pick. I love the ugly picks though, and that's Jonathan Scope of the Tigers, 16% rostered. Terrible April where he only hit 198, but he hit 275 in May with three homers, 12 RBIs, reached base in each of his last 17 games, first base and second base eligibility. He should be an absolute lock to hit 250 with at least 20 to 25 home runs. Jonathan Scope is a good player. He's only 29 years old. It feels like Jonathan Scope is 40 years old. And, uh, and he's been on every team in the MLB. Yeah. You even look at him like if you did an eye test and you didn't tell me how old he was and you take a look at him, you're like, Holy, like he definitely has a family of four. But, <laughs> but he looks 29, like 29 if he's not 29, that's on me. But I'm pretty sure I just looked up that he's 29 years old. <laughs> So we're not sure that he's... Let me look it up. You keep talking <laughs> but, about him. No, I think we got to give credit to uh, the disc. Someone did message the Discord yes. and they mentioned how hot he was. And I wasn't sure. If, I was like, holy crap. Like, I feel like it was the same thing last year. He's a sneaky second base eligibility 29 player. 29 years old. 29, okay. Right, yeah. Sneaky second base eligibility player. And he's super hot right now. So, I mean, I don't mind streaming hot, like streaming... Hey, hot second baseman. We love Tigers on waiver wire for yeah. some reason. Avery so loves Tigers. Grossman, on oh, Goodrum. Good. Uh, that was you. you okay, Grossman was a hit. I'm Goodrum was a hit. Was a hit. Grossman a, was worth the hit. Yes. Goodrum was. I'm addicted to Tigers pitchers. That's my yeah, Casey problem. Casey Mize. Casey Mize, yeah, has yeah. done more. But well, Casey Mize. Derek Scooble when you is, pick Casey yeah. Mize, he ended up doing shit. And then he had like a revamp. Now he's been really good. Yeah, so, so I'll chalk it up as a long to win. Yeah. Anything more from anyone else? I got all my guys. Everyone else had their guys. Subscribe. And while you're subscribing, go get some Ace Hill while you're at it. Jerry, that's a great part. Yeah. A little bit of good transition right there. <laughs> Professional. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you next time.